Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. We talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm your host, Jeffrey, and subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Now, in the Big Ten on Saturday, there's a game between two teams looking for a bounce-back win, with the Purdue Boilermakers traveling on the road at the Illinois Fighting Illini. Who do I think is going to win this game? Let's break it down. Now, Purdue is 5-4 and 3-3 and three and three in the Big Ten to start this season. They only need one more win for bowl eligibility, and Jeff Brom's done a really good job as the head coach of Purdue, turning them around from the program they used to be when they were really bad, and now they're actually a really good team. But this year following up one of the best seasons they've had in a long time last year when they went 9-4. and four. They've had some struggles, but they're still having a decent season. They lost to Penn State in Week 1, 35-31. Tough loss. They could have won this game, but it went Penn State's way. But then they bounced back and beat Indiana State 56 to nothing. And then they lost at Syracuse 32-29 to in a heartbreaker. The refs, there was a couple bad calls, and Purdue could not get the win. Then they beat Florida Atlantic 28-26, to and that was a good win. And then they beat Minnesota on the road 20 to 10 and that was a good win because Minnesota is a decent team then they won at Maryland 31 to 29 and it was really looking up for Purdue and they beat Nebraska 43 to 37 and they started out the season 5 and 2 but they've lost their last two games and they lost at Wisconsin 35 to 24 that was a tough loss because Wisconsin's not having one of their better seasons and Purdue has not beaten Wisconsin in almost two decades so that was a tough loss and then they lost to Iowa 24 to 3 and that was a tough loss because of the fact Iowa's defense stifled Purdue's offense. Purdue could not get anything going on offense. And in that Iowa game, quarterback Aiden O'Connell, 168 yards and two interceptions. Ever since his injury, he has not liked the same quarterback. He is a really solid quarterback, and we know he's one of the best stories in college football. That he was a walk-on quarterback, and now he's Purdue's starting quarterback. Last year and at the beginning of this season, he was fantastic. But since his injury, he's been struggling a little bit, and he needs to get back to his pre-injury form for Purdue's offense to be as great as it was at the beginning of the season. Running back Devin Mockby is 65 yards. He's a solid running back. And wide receiver Charlie Jones, the transfer from Iowa at 104 yards. He's a great wide receiver and a great target for Aiden O'Connell. And tight end Payne Durham at 35 yards, one of the best tight ends in the country. And Purdue's offense, when clicking, is really good, but they have been struggling the last few weeks. And on the defense side of the ball, defensive end Jack Sullivan at three tackles and cornerback Bryce Hampton at three tackles. For Purdue against Iowa, Purdue's got a much better defense than they used to, but Purdue's offense is going to have to get rolling again if Purdue's going to start winning games again. And on the Illinois side, they're 7-2 and two and 4-2 and two in the Big Ten to start the season. And they're the top of the Big Ten West. They could easily win the Big Ten West if they win this game over Purdue. Brett Bielema's done a fantastic job at head coach turning the Illinois football program around from the Lovey Smith there. They were really struggling, but now they're doing it really good under Brett Bielema. And this season, they're having a fantastic season. They beat Wyoming in Week 0, 38-6, and that was a good win. Then they lost at Indiana 23-20. to This was a tough loss because obviously it's the beginning of the season and now Indiana's having a really struggling season, but Illinois could not get the win there. But then they won six in a row. They beat Virginia 24-3, to and that was a good win because Virginia's really struggling in the ACC. Then they blanked Chattanooga 31 to nothing. That was a good win. Then they won at Wisconsin 34-10, to and that was a good win because Wisconsin's really struggling this season, and Illinois to go on the road and win like that was good. Then they won in a defensive slugfest over Iowa 9-6. to That was a good win to get that one, even though they couldn't put up a lot of points. Then they beat Minnesota 26-14. to That was a good win because Minnesota's a decent Big Ten team. Then they won at Nebraska 26-9. to Nebraska's having a bad season, and that was a good win for Illinois. But then they lost last week to Michigan State at home 23-15. to This was a tough loss because it looked like Illinois was running away with the Big Ten West. Now they're not guaranteed guaranteed to win the Big Ten West, but they can still do it if they beat Purdue and continue to win. Also, it was a tough loss because Michigan State's having a struggling season, but still for Illinois, they're still having a great season. And in that Michigan State game, quarterback Tommy DeVito, the Syracuse transfer, 288 yards and two touchdowns. He's a very solid quarterback. He's a dual threat. He can run. He didn't have many yards against Michigan State, but his passing attack has really helped lift the Illini offense to greater heights because in the past, Illinois could not throw the ball and they can only run. So he's done great for Illinois. Running back Chase Brown is 136 yards on the ground. Still, Illinois can run the football like they did in the past, and Chase Brown is one of the top running backs in, in the country that no one really talks about for his being one of the top backs, but he is fantastic. Wide receiver Isaiah Williams, who used to be their quarterback, had 98 yards and two touchdowns. He's a fantastic wide receiver. He's so quick and elusive. And wide receiver Brian Hightower, 34 yards for Illinois against Michigan State. And again, Illinois' offense is so much better than it used to be now that Brett Bielema is the head coach. He's really opened up the offense, and they can run and throw. On the defensive side of the ball, defensive back Jartavius Martin at five tackles, and defensive back Kendall Smith at four tackles for Illinois against Michigan State. And Illinois' defense is much better than it used to be. Their offense and their defense is both improved. And who do I think is going to win this game? 
And his game is at Illinois. That helps Illinois because even though Purdue has won two games on the road this year in the Big Ten over Minnesota and Maryland, I still think the home field advantage for Illinois is going to be really good because they're really energized. The fans are really energized. Illinois, even though they just lost at home to Michigan State, that was a tough loss. But Illinois still has their sights set on winning the Big Ten West. Illinois still has a much better team than they've had in a long time. And Purdue does have a very talented team as well. But their offense is just really struggling right now. Aiden O'Connell is having a hard time getting things going. I'm going to go with Illinois to beat Purdue 24 to 21. I think Purdue can win this game. I think Purdue is really good on offense, but they're really struggling right now. And I think Purdue has a decent defense. But I think Illinois' offense and defense is playing a little bit better than Purdue's right now. And I think Brett Bielema has his team with their sights set on winning the Big Ten West. And I think Illinois is just playing a little bit better football than Purdue right now. And I know Purdue obviously can make a bowl if they win this game. And I think Purdue is going to show up to play. And I think Aiden O'Connell is going to have a better game. But I think Illinois is just going to find a way to stop Purdue one too many times. And I think that Illinois is going to find a way to score more than Purdue. And I think Illinois is going to squeak out a win over Purdue 24-21. to Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Like this video down below. Comment down below whether you think Purdue or Illinois is going to win this game and why. And I'll see you next time.